All right, I just cracked open a Coke and I'm ready to go. So I wanted to create this video and talk about what my predictions are for Nintendo at E3 this year. There is some really cool things that Nintendo has announced that have me really pumped up about, and I'm hoping that we can get some more of this at E3. So today, Nintendo published their their E3 2019 website. They're preparing for E3 starting today. And we got two months, two and a half months, E3 is upon us. Really exciting because we're gonna get a lot of updates for games and announcements. So I'm really kind of thrilled to see what that's gonna include. So here are my predictions and expectations of E3. First off, I wanna talk hardware. I think we're going to see the new versions of Nintendo Switch at E3. I think we're going to see that Mini that they have been talking about and the, that they have confirmed and the Pro that they have confirmed. I hope that we get to see what these look like for E3 and that they'll launch Black Friday in the US. Those are my predictions. Um, I have talked about the Mini and the Pro versions. There's another link. I'll throw the link in the description or just look at my channel. Uh, but I talk about those two. Pretty much just to give you a watered down version, what I think the Switch Mini is going to be is just the Switch sold without a dock. The dock's like 80 bucks. That already shaves off almost $100 of the price, which would bring it down to the 3DS price level. That way you'd still have the Switch capabilities if you later wanted to purchase a dock and have that functionality. I don't think that these rumors that the Joy-Cons are not going to be detachable, I think that they still will um, because I think they're still going to promote that ability to you know, have multiple controllers on your Switch and you can use the Switch Joy-Cons to sync by sliding them down. Anyways, I think that that's going to be the Mini. I don't think that they're going to weaken the hardware at all because we've come so far in terms of hardware in the last two years that it's not as expensive to make the components that they're using. The Pro, however, I think is going to be in an intense increase of performance. It's not going to be near as powerful as the PS Pro or the Xbox One X. They've confirmed that, but yet it's going to be awesome for more advanced gamers that want that better uh, experience. Anyways, I think that we're going to get that E3 hardware. They're going to reveal the two systems and when they release. Also, this is me getting wild. Buckle up. I think that we're going to see the Nintendo 64 Mini. I think that that's going to be something that's going to be released this uh, fall as well. Uh, you know, they they came out with the NES and then the Super Nintendo and then nothing. <laughs> but we saw that they patent the 64 controller. Uh, so people thought that that was going to come next, come last year and never did. But I think that it's going to be announced at E3, if not sooner. That's, that's what I'm going to predict hardware terms. In terms of software, you know, Nintendo doesn't really have a really big game that they've been advertising a lot. The only one that comes to my mind would be Pokemon Sword and Shield, which we did just get a Pokemon Direct about a month ago. We saw what Pokemon Sword and Shield, what it's going to look like, and a little bit of the gameplay. And, you know, a lot of people are a little disappointed because it just looks like a slightly better version of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. A lot of people are hoping for more intense graphics, more a bigger map, just a lot. Like this is Pokemon's version, their very first iteration of a home console Pokemon game, and I think we're expecting more. I'm hoping that, you know, we still have like eight months before the sucker comes out. I'm hoping that they're gonna be showing us a more detailed version of the map and the graphics and the gameplay and all of that stuff. But this year, I think that that's gonna be the big push. I think they're gonna have like an entire 40 minute to an hour direct about Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're gonna get more gameplays, more cities. We're gonna see more Pokemon, newer Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. And I think that that's gonna be their focus. I think that there's gonna be demos that uh, people will be able to try and test out. And so we're gonna get a lot more information on Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I bet that it will be released Black Friday in the US. That's my money, that's where I'm putting my money. But there's some other games that I think that they're gonna be seeing, that we're gonna be seeing. Animal Crossing, I think that that's gonna be one of their big 
big titles that we're going to be seeing. You know, we got a trailer, what was it, the end of last year, October maybe, in one of their directs. And it wasn't any gameplay or anything. It was just a teaser saying, hey, Animal Crossing is coming out in 2019. A lot of pan fans are excited about this because we haven't seen an Animal Crossing game in what? 20 years? <laughs> it's been such a long time since we've seen Animal Crossing. I never did play Animal Crossing. I, I never did. A lot of people told me it's one of their favorite games. I've, I've heard from several people that they would buy a Nintendo Switch just for that game. Uh, uh, people that I've talked to that don't have a Switch already, that don't have any reason to buy one, they have told me that they would if Animal Crossing came out. So <laughs> it's just interesting to see that there's a huge fan base for this game. It's something that I want to try, something I'm excited about, probably something I'm going to pick up and start playing. I've heard nothing but great things about this game. So I'm really excited about that one. I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing trailer, gameplay footage, and I'm going to say that we'll probably, I, I, I don't think it's going to come out this year. Actually, no, I lied. I think it will come out this year. I think it's going to come out before E3. I'm thinking a September release. Yeah, I changed my mind. September, we're going to get Animal Crossing for the Switch. Yeah. Um, the other game. This is the one I'm most excited about. Pokemon, get out of here. Animal Crossing, forget about it. Luigi's Mansion 3, you better believe it. I'm really excited about this game. Not a lot of many people... There's... I haven't talked to anybody that's really played this game, which is so surprising to me because I think it was one of the crown jewels on the Nintendo GameCube. This was one of the games that made the GameCube so great. Nintendo took an amazing idea and, and another amazing idea and they brought the two worlds together. I'm talking Ghostbusters and I'm talking about the Mario Brothers and Haunted Mansion from Disneyland. <laughs> they, Three great ideas all wrapped up in a big old video game. And it was so much fun. Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. One of the best games that you can play on that console. And it's got so much, so much uh, about it that made it fun. Uh, exploring the mansion, finding hidden treasures, finding the bosses. Everything was just such a pleasure. And you're just going through this mansion like... What else could be in this mansion? I've played for hours and there's still new things. And then you just keep unloading all of this. You're just discovering a really cool mansion. And Luigi really brings the game to life because he's just terrified. And it just made it so... It, he just brought the world together. He wrapped it up in a nice little great bundle. And uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 is great. It came out on the 3DS years ago, four, five, six years ago, and I really enjoyed it. I don't think that they captured the same, um, the same magic from the first game. It was a lot of fun, but it just wasn't the same thing. I still recommend it. I've played it two or three times over, and I will continue to play it through over the, throughout the years. But Luigi's Three, this is going to be really interesting because. Uh, looking at the, the trailer, they only have a tiny little trailer, but it looks like that they're adding more to it. There's going to be new weapons, new gadgets. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same mansion, another mansion, something, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And I can tell you right now that this is going to be one of the safest bets for Nintendo. And I hope that everyone who hasn't had a chance to play Luigi's Mansion to first go play it. Okay. And then... Get yourself pumped up for Luigi's 3, because it's going to be a good time. Um, Link's Awakening. I think that this is going to be a big one that will come out this year. Uh, it's something that nobody expected. Nobody was talking about a rumor of a new, Ninten uh, new Zelda game. And Nintendo dropped this one on us, and it was such a surprise, such a treat to see. It's a remake of a game that was created 30 years ago. It was the first Zelda game I ever played. I give a huge, dis I go in a big discussion on this game in another video, go check that out. Uh, but this is going to be one of the best games that we're going to get this year, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Link's Awakening is so trippy, and I think that um, this game 
will be really good for the the rising generation people who have yet played zelda um if you've played breath of the wild on the switch and you are really happy with it you're going to be really happy with this one it's so trippy there's so many crazy things that go on in this game this will come out this year and i'm going to say it comes out in september hands down hands down go buy it love it play it uh damien x machina uh this one has been teased for about two years we got the demo for it uh a month or two ago the demo was a lot of fun i enjoyed it uh i had some beef with it there were some things that i i just didn't quite understand because i i haven't played a lot of these mech games but what really intrigued me was the art style and i love giant robots and i love destroying things so that's going to be one that I'm excited to play and to get uh, a more in-depth review for you guys out there. Um, I have one right now. There's some gripes. I had some good comments in there talking about you know some things that I had missed. And I'm glad that those were pointed out to me because that made me go back and replay certain parts of the games that I didn't try that time. And it really changed the experience. So I think that the full demo is going to be something amazing to play. And I think we're going to get... A lot of cool stuff out of it so i'm really excited about that one damon x machina this is a tricky one because i don't think that they're quite ready they release this review this demo for people to try out and to give them feedback so depending on what that feedback was like i'm kind of curious to know are, are they going to push it or are they going to give us what they have now and maybe fix it along the way or are they going to spend some more time and update it a little bit that will be curious to see I don't think that this is going to be a 2019 release, however. I think it will come out probably next year. Those are my bets. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2. This is supposed to come out in June. Um, they don't have an exact date yet. Um, but my bet, and I hope that at E3, they're just going to drop one of those, and it's available today. And then everyone will download it and play it and love it. Uh, Mario Maker 2 is going to be a lot of fun. Not that many people purchased a Wii U uh, for good reason. And I was one of those dum-dums that bought one. I actually enjoyed my Wii U. I do have a couple of games that I really enjoy on it. Mario Maker is one of them. It is so amazing. Mario platform games, I think, are kind of stale. right? They, they don't bring anything new. They don't invent anything. They don't do anything great. Mario Maker, however, is completely different. They give you all the tools. They give you all the characters. They give you everything that you would need so that you can go create some bonkers levels, throw them up on the interwebs, and have your friends play them, and have other people play them, have statistics. What's the completion rate of this? How good are you at designing levels? It is a blast to play, and it even tests your Mario skills. You know, a lot of these times we play Mario and we're like, man, I'm really good at this level, it's super easy. And, but you play it and it just blows your mind because you get in the craziest situations and it's just a blast. So anyone who did not have the opportunity to play the first one, you're really going to enjoy the second one. I don't think you're gonna miss anything. I think it's gonna have everything from the first game and way more. This is one of those games where there's just so much that they could add to it and it will only make the game better. So anyone who hasn't played it, you're gonna have a good time. This is released for June. Unless they're gonna push back on it, I, I doubt that they will, but I think that this is gonna be their big, um, big summer game. And a lot of people are going to play it. Look for it on Twitch. You're going to see a lot of Twitch guys. Slade is really good. He's one of my favorite players out there who plays Mario Makers. Uh, so check that out. So those are my big predictions, right? Um, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Maker, uh, the hardware, Animal Crossing, all of that good stuff. So a lot of really exciting things. I'm hoping that Nintendo will bring their A game to this E3. 2017 was just a non-stop roller coaster. It was just full blown rocket ship to the moon. And then 2018 was like, oh, cool. <laughs> PlayStation really brought the big guns last year. I'm hoping that Nintendo will bring those big guns back this year. 
And uh, they got a lot of games in, in store. Reggie said that they have 20 unique games currently in development for the Switch at Nintendo. And we've seen a couple of them. Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Maker 2, Link's Awakening. None of those were mentioned before he dropped that statement. So there's still like 16 other games out there that we have no idea you know what 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 is gonna be it could be anything so i'm really pumped about that and there's so much to expect playstation's gonna bring some good stuff they always do xbox i don't expect anything except probably a console update because they only care about hardware and not software uh but i mean they've got the market i mean everyone's playing xbox uh, i wish that they would bring more exclusive uh titles to their console you know really drive up the, co the competition between nintendo and playstation playstation's got some really good um games coming out i do think that we're going to see horizon zero dawn 2 it just seems like something sony's going to milk and it's been two years since it was released which is enough time to develop an entire sequel they've got the assets they've got the physics engine they've got everything down it just seems like they just have to recreate a new world or the same world and then just kind of change it up a little bit. So that would be really exciting to see if there's a new Horizon Zero Dawn game coming out. Um, finally, I just want to talk about a lot of people are, are assuming that we're going to be getting a new Zelda game besides Link's Awakening or a new Mario Odyssey title. I don't think we will. Uh, there's no reason to see it this early. Nintendo does not roll out new Zelda games every two years as much as we would like. I mean, you could argue that there's Link's Awakening, but that one's different. It's a remake. Um, I'm talking about fully blown original home console games that are not remakes. So I don't think we're going to be getting that just yet. I know that they're working on them. They're always working on them. When are they never working on a Zelda game? But I think the main Zelda title, the main Zelda crew, I think that they're working on that. And I think that we'll probably see something next year for Zelda. Not for Mario, um, just because Zelda came out almost an entire year before Odyssey did. Um, not that big of a gap, but it still came out before. And there was a pretty big uh, time difference between the two games. So I think Zelda will probably be announced before and when it is announced we can expect another two-year delay on that game <laughs> well it'll be really exciting i'm gonna be doing a video talking about breath of the wild and just a huge big fat review about it i don't know everyone's done reviews for the last two years but i kind of want to talk about the potential that there is um, and the direction that nintendo can go with this franchise what they took from you know this open air world and taking a lot of the ideas that they have and fully going crazy with it. So that's something that's going to be coming out here in the next couple of weeks, working on that. And uh, yeah, that's that's about uh, that's about it. Those are my predictions for E3. Kind of scattered brain, but you know, it's all good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think Nintendo is going to be bringing to E3? Uh, any? Any expectations? Any wishes? What are your wishes? I got some big wishes. What if Metroid Prime 4 just came out? What if the whole thing was a ruse? They're like, no, we're going to give up on making Metroid because we sucked at it. So Retro Studios is going to come fix it. What if that was a ruse? What if they actually have it ready? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. Mm. all right so that is the show let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time